My lord, Moff Ilian Regus. I'm recruiting the Empire's finest for the final push in the war. Operation Dark Ice. Your reputation precedes you. Do we have your support? I'll do whatever it takes to win the war. I'm sending the coordinates for the planet Ilum. Used to be a frozen wasteland only a few Jedi bothered with. But a few weeks ago, Imperial scientists discovered a way to turn Adegan lightsaber crystals into the most significant breakthrough in military technology since the hyperdrive. The hyperdrive revolutionized galactic warfare. Nothing before or since has matched it in importance. I'm not exaggerating. Ilum has the biggest supply of Adegan lightsaber crystals in the galaxy. And our scientists have been most successful with Ilum's crystals. The Empire won on Corellia, but it was costly. We're outnumbered. We need the technological edge. We need Ilum's crystals. But as usual, the Republic's intent on interfering. So you need me to crack some skulls while you handle the boring stuff? You could say that. Ilum's a nasty place. Cold as hoth, covered in ice and mountainous terrain. Makes moving large armies impossible. I hope to see you soon. I see three floors, Major. You've split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. My lord, thank you for coming. If it weren't for the Sith, the Empire would collapse all around us. Spare me the flattery. We'll get right to business, then. Adegan crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. I take it you've run into trouble, or you wouldn't have called me? To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jerry Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. Why must the Jedi always interfere? The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team, and they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. Then have your soldiers stand aside and let a professional take care of this. Our only chance is to lure the Dura's shock troopers into the open where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the Duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins base. Is there trouble, Master Caden? No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured, this war can only end one way. Who is that you're talking to? 
No one you'll live to meet. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only going to ask once for you to leave. If you thought you could win, you would have attacked by now. A Jedi must seek the path of peace first. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. The Force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. Then you'll die for something you believe in. One with the Force. I will be even stronger. Troopers, join me for the Republic. This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. I'm on the Dark Council, and I don't recall sending you. Darth Mar, Ravage, and Maltis sent me. My business is cleaning up the military's messes. Darth Malgus, I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Before his death, Master Caden ordered an army of Kalish mercenaries to take our only functioning crystal mine. We need the crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of allying with the Republic. I'm going to need a really big bomb. Can't take down an entire army by hand. It's a point. Your plan hardly seems efficient. The victory on Corellia cost us nearly a tenth of our forces. That's hardly a rate of attrition we can support, is it? Does this have something to do with the mission, Malgus? The Kalish are warlike, ritualistic people. In my brief time on Kali, I observed the ritual by which they chose their war leader. Challenge their general. Win their respect, and they will defend that mind to the death. For the Empire. Aliens! You want us to recruit aliens? I didn't realize the battle on Corellia was so costly. New planet, new contest. We can't fear the past. The mine is at the end of a crystal cave, with several Republic outposts guarding it. Sure, challenge the Kalish general, then bring me his head. Consider it done. We must put the Empire first. If we don't bolster our forces, there will be no future for the Empire. Go to the mine, gather the weapons of the Kalish warriors, and plant them in the ice to initiate the right of challenge. Gilrex, who challenges me? My name won't do you any good when you're dead. What do you want with the people of Kali? You are enemies of the Empire. You must die. Then you issue a false challenge. Warriors, to arms! Are you deliberately trying to provoke me? I'm doing what I was sent to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. At least some people around here still have sense. Good work at the mine. They would have stabbed us in the back down the line. Doubtlessly. 
The mine's been reclaimed. We can resume our crystal operations. Our best recon teams are scouting the Republic base for an attack. But in the meantime, we need to prepare for the arrival of the prototype fleet. What's the mission? We need the fleet in place on the surface. Everything we need to build the stealth armada is on that fleet. But the Republic's anti-aircraft artillery installation controls the skies. Anything that flies too low gets shot down. The Republic's artillery base is protected by a ray shield and the Republic's best alien forces. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield while you storm the base and destroy the guns. Who are Delta Squad and why haven't I heard of them? Their exploits were usually of the Black Ops variety. If you'd heard of them, they wouldn't be half as good. Get into position at the comm relay just outside the artillery base. Contact Delta Squad when you're ready, and they'll bring the ray shield down. After that, it's up to you. Destroy those guns and get out of there. Alive. <laughs> It was a trap. The Republic were waiting for us at the shield generators. We're under heavy fire. I don't know how long we can... Did you hear that? Somebody's played us for fools. The Republic artillery base is protected by a huge ray shield. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators. And then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. Shield generators... Then guns. Got it. Good. We can't do anything with that ray shield up. Contact me at the Republic base once both the shield generators and the guns are destroyed. My men will move in and clean up. Guns are destroyed. We're slicing the Republic's computers now. Let's see what they're doing out there in the cold. Ah, Master Caden's killer. He was a good man, and will be sorely missed. But killing one great man is never enough. The Republic has always thrived on the effort of its united citizens. Lieutenant, input the coordinates of the Imperial base into the ELX-25 and fire when ready. Give my regards to Moff Regis. Blast! The ELX-25 was only supposed to be in planning stages. If it's operational, it could obliterate our base with a single shot. That's not fear I smell, is it? We have to improvise, based on estimates of the ELX-25's range and the origin of the Admiral's transmission. It should be at these coordinates. We have limited time, and you're closest. Destroy that weapon. I hope the Admiral's still around when I get there. Me too. The Republic will answer for this. Destroy the ELX-25, or we'll have no choice but to retreat from Ilum. How did the Republic learn of our plans? All the more reason the Empire needs to reimagine itself for the changing times. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. It's going to take superior technology and superior numbers to defeat the Republic. The Republic's base is built into a cliffside. 
The main fleet is going to batter the exposed side to oblivion. The objective is to claim the Republic crystal supplies, kill Admiral Shai, and open the docking bay door so Imperial forces can clean up. You'll be entering through this tunnel and hitting deep within the mountain, where the fleet can't reach. And while you and the main fleet give the Republic a beating, I'll prep the crystal fleet for the transfer of the Republic's crystals. A two-pronged attack. Are you on board? Whatever your philosophical shortcomings, you are a solid tactician. I earned my title. Then let's start the attack. Good luck. I hope you understand the futility of all of this. You claim the crystals for the Empire. They build their armada. We will find a way to detect it, to destroy it. And then the Empire will build something bigger and better. On and on and on, until we destroy each other or the galaxy. I think the Empire will win long before it comes to that. The Republic will never stop opposing you. Failing to understand that will be your downfall. Suppose you think that if you just kill me, this will all be over. What did I tell you about destroying great men? The Empire will fail because it insists on being a set of individuals rather than a true citizenship. Because it insists on pushing everyone else to the margins. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. Looks like it's your turn to die now. I don't care what you have to do, Major. Find Malgus and find that fleet. Let me guess. Malgus has taken the Crystal Fleet. You can never trust the principled ones. Grand Moff, it's Malgus on the Holonet. This better be good. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire. Too long the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith. Children of Sith and warriors everywhere, I declare a new empire, open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. What does he think he's doing? The Dark Council is dissolved.
those who would join Darth Seraphin in supporting me, cast aside your titles and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. Malgus makes some good points. Are you mad? The last thing the Empire needs is the Civil War. If Malgus is able to construct the Stealth Armada, he'll be unstoppable. I know I've asked too much of you already, but this new Empire can't succeed. I need your help to stop Darth Malgus. I don't like being betrayed. Doing the Dark Council's work, he said. I will convene an, an emergency war council. Take this time to prepare for battle, then meet me in my bunker. Darth Malgus will not survive this day. <laughs>